Of all the many Ninja Turtles knockoffs out there, it's surprisingly difficult to find one of their main vehicle, the Turtle Van. But here we are. Here's another Ninja Turtles ripoff vehicle from Argentina. <laughs> Here we are with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Deluxe Party Wagon. I guess it being deluxe is how it's better than the real one because even though the real one's a bit bigger, it's not deluxe. So just like with the Argentinian Turtle Pickup 4x4, this party wagon box is very closely emulating the Playmates style. And just like with the Argentinian Turtle Pickup 4x4, probably the most impressive part of this whole party wagon bootleg is the artwork. I mean, really, you see this, and if you didn't know any better, you would think this was from the official line. And everything about the layout and stuff is so close, I'm sure this could have easily duped quite a few people. Of course, the first clue that things aren't quite right here is there's no company logo to be found. We just get the old Industri Argentina. And you'd kind of expect that somewhere on this box they might show you what the actual toy looks like, but all they do is copy the artwork on every side of the box. The only points they put on here to try and sell you on this are swinging roof mounted gun, free wheel action, giant rubber tires, and original turtle design. Of course, the real turtle van had some points like this, but they were spring action foot tenderizer weapon, anti foot blasters, and wacko bombs, and sit six figures comfortably. This bootleg can't claim any of these points, especially not the wacko bombs, or sitting six figures comfortably, or any figures really. These um, action points are also very similar to what they boasted on the Turtle Pickup 4x4. In fact, they're all the exact same points, just worded slightly differently or in a different order. So here's our Argentine and Turtle Van toy, and you can tell that they at least knew what the Turtle Van looked like when they put this thing together. One of the rear view mirrors broke off in the box at some point. Not super shocking, I suppose, as they're not held on by much and there's absolutely no padding inside the box. I guess the passenger side rear view mirror still being there at all is better than how it held up for the turtle pickup 4x4. The swinging roof mounted gun is not centered, instead is kind of awkwardly over to the right because there's a sunroof on the original mold they were stealing here and they weren't going to alter it that much. But at least we've got a spare tire, that's the important thing. And not too surprisingly, they just copied a bunch of design elements from their other vehicles, so this springy flag is the exact same. The tires and the yellow rear bumper, again, are a perfect match. And of course, they copied that gunner chair for both of these things as well. The yellow front bumpers are almost the exact same, just there's been a little bit of modification from the 4x4 to the turtle van. Now, while there's a lot of similarities, like them half blocking off their windshield by reminding themselves that they're turtles, the turtle van is lacking the pizza decal, the 4x4 head. From the looks of the box, though, that pizza decal should have been placed around here. They either just forgot, got lazy, or cheaped out. So, here's the real deal next to the bootleg. At least they did, you know, modify the colors and stuff of this stolen mold to look pretty close to the turtle van. Uh, kind of sadly, the headlights look a lot better on the bootleg than the nothing on the real turtle van. Also, the rear view mirrors being silver makes a bit more sense than orange. And look at those chrome super exhaust pipes on the bootleg. I mean, the real one might be bigger, but it's not creating nearly enough pollution. Now, the doors don't open on the bootleg, but then again, they don't open on the real turtle van either, which is always something that felt like it was missing. Now, of course, the turtle van had the swinging side door, which popped open when you lifted up the roof, and the bootleg just has another turtle face decal. Another point I'll give to the bootleg, though, is it looks much better with actual stuff on the back giving it dimensionality rather than just a decal of some machinery. Though, I don't know if a turtle van is really complete without a sticker that says, FOOT STINKS! They also really should have put that turtle mouth on the front bumper. I mean, come on! 
Though at least they got really close with the orange on the gunner chair compared to the orange that's on the guns with the rear view mirror. Now, while the bootleg has that silly thing of them covering up half the windshield with the turtles decal, um, at least it has a windshield. This is completely open on the real thing, which is another thing I never really liked. There's no bootleg company markings on here. We just get the Industria Argentina mark a couple of times. One on the back and the other on the bottom of the vehicle. This is also where the company marking for the original maker of this mold can be found, but blotted out. I originally misread the blotted out company logo in the 4x4 video as Kuro Still. What this actually says is Euro Still. And where I couldn't find anything for Kuro Still, it's very easy to find that Euro Still indeed made many vehicles like this. There's a Disney van mold by Eurostill that looks very close to what they modified here for the turtle van, but I don't think it's the exact same one. Now, while there were some things left to be desired about the original turtle van, it was at least in scale with the Playmates figures. You can barely even pretend that your Argentinian bootleg figures can do anything with this dinky little turtle van. The best you can do is kind of shove one of them in the gunner chair kind of awkwardly. And then you can run another one over, which I guess sort of works a little. Uh. It's a mold copy, but it was at least modified enough to immediately resemble the turtle van it's supposed to represent. The original Eurostill toy that this seems to most directly be stealing from is the Dragster Van 4x4. You can see it has the exact same windows, rear view mirrors, giant exhaust pipes, and tires even. This was an RC toy though, where of course there are no electronics in the bootleg. How good this is as a turtle van also varies depending on if you just view it as its own thing or not, because next to the figures, it's too small. Six. The Euro Still mold copy was again given proper coloring decals and stuff to immediately read as the turtle van, and I do like the effort to make an alternate version of the turtle's signature vehicle. Five. Honestly, with the abundance of Ninja Turtle bootlegs out there, one of the weirdest things is how rare a knockoff of the party wagon is. It is kind of odd they chose a vehicle at this scale to make into it, but Euro Still vehicles were probably just really easy to get in Argentina, so that's why we ended up with this. For I love the box, just like the Turtle Trucks one, because of them putting this kind of effort into making the copycat artwork of their bizarro versions of these Turtles vehicles. Also, they do a good job making the design elements look so close to the real deal. Nine. Now, while the real Turtle Van toy outsizes and actually works with the figures it's supposed to, there are a couple of spots where this bootleg just looks nicer due to having better detail. Four. And the bootleg zones overall is seven! I like this one a little bit more than the turtle truck as it's a vehicle that the turtles actually used, and I like seeing an Argentinian interpretation of it done with a different mold. <laughs> Look who's done it again, with another vehicle way too small for us to even fit into! Donatello, you idiot! Uh, wrong, Raph. I've been thinking we need a new way, and a van that's too small for us might just be the newest new way for us to new way ourselves into a new way! Ah, uh, come on, dude. Please don't bring that next mutation shit into this. This vehicle isn't even fit for those stupid Argentina head swaps, right, Mondo Gecko? I don't know. What do you think, Mondo Negator and Raffalangelo? Kill me. Eh, uh, I don't know. I think it's okay. Ah, it's settled then. What is? Uh, <laughs> I don't know.